place we went to that was really awesome in Chicago was the Garrett Popcorn Shop. We went to the one in the Woodfield Mall. We went to the one in the Woodfield Mall that's uh, out there in the suburb um, of, Sh of Schaumburg. So we went to the one that was out there. Let me show you what kind of popcorn we got. Y'all, this popcorn is something serious. It is it's something serious. All right, y'all. We had got two bags. They come in bags like this. But once it's in this bag, they put it into this um, paper bag. Shaking, not stirred. Just look up Garrett Popcorn Shop and it'll show you how they magically make this popcorn. This popcorn is delicious. Uh, the butter, cheddar, and caramel sauce is all made right there in the factory. And then they, what? She says shaking, not stirred. But they do kind of... um kind of fold it all together also because I saw exactly how it was made. I had looked up like a commentary or a documentary on it. And uh, then they set it off in this big old Garrett popcorn shop. A uh, little tote bag for us to come out. We've been back off of vacation for a few days now. So uh, we have ate quite a bit of the popcorn. That The butter and caramel is almost gone. And then the cheddar and caramel was just not getting started on. There's the cheddar and caramel. Very good. It is very delicious, y'all. It is something serious. So, if you ever go to Chicago, try the Garrett Popcorn Shop. One of them. They are very, very delicious. I said one of them because they have them all over Chicago. All right. Another great place to eat at. And when I go back, I plan on getting more of this popcorn. It's very delicious. My husband was saying, you got to try the popcorn shop. You have to try it. And, I mean, there was no... um doubt i mean once we once i ate this popcorn yes very delicious it is all right you guys today i did for dessert made a banana pudding that looks pretty good i like a lot of cookies and bananas are all up in between there and stuff i'm gonna sit in the fridge to do a little bit of cooling and then it's gonna be time to chop down ain't it anything uh anything gonna be time to chop down ain't it yummy good 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 all right all right just wanted to show that mr king is the banana pudding maker around here he really does a really good job making the banana pudding but today i, I decided to go ahead and make one hello youtube um this evening i wanted to jump on here and show the dinner i was making i'm gonna get do the chicken stir fry this is the day i had did the uh the grocery haul but i am gonna be um doing uh, a stir fry chicken recipe and i just started off i did take that pack of chicken and i split it down three ways so this is a third of the chicken i got it cut up i just put a half a stick of butter in there and i'm using this uh kicking chicken right here and i'm just gonna let this cook down first and then we're gonna go from there right, cleaning cleaning as i cook um this big board right here just a bit of a backstory for us this cutting board right here this is a the largest one we cut up the raw meat on this cutting board so i just washed it and stood it up for drying um the medium sized board we got four of them so the next to the biggest board we use cut we use to cut up cooked food or cooked meat we use it for that board and the last two boards we use for fruits and veggies and anything else that needs to get cut up does it really even matter or not i don't know but usually raw meat we definitely going to do on the big cutting board and the other cutting boards are for everything else uh, what do you do at home? I was just letting you guys know that's something that we do. All right, you guys. The chicken is done. The chicken is done. But you see how kind of like um, kind of chunky it is? I do want to uh, chop it down a little more so it won't be so chunky and it'll stretch a little further. So I'm going to chop it down now. And then I'll get it back into the pot. I hope you guys can see my vision. I just wanted to chop down a little bit more, not just in big old clumps. Okay, now I'm going to add my veggies. I was going to remove the chicken from the pan into a plate, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there. And I'm just going to add the veggies and let them steam down also with this. All right, here we go. I want you to see how I put all the juice from the roasted pepper jar into the uh, stir fry. And I want you to see how the pepper came out. It came out pretty much like a whole pepper. So I'm guessing this may be two peppers in here. I'm going to chop it down, and then I am going to chop down an orange and a red pepper and some broccoli, and I got some onion in there. I think that's going to be my stir fry, you guys. I don't know. I may add a little bit more, but I don't know. We're going to see. Okay. Now I'm going to chop this down. Let me get this in the pan. Look at all that goodness in there. Look at that. Look at that. 
My lord, the, all those veggies. It's um peppers, roasted peppers, onions, and broccoli in here with the chicken. And then I just left all the juices right in there. So I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. I gotta go 10 to one of the kids real quick, and then I'm coming right back. The veggies and the meat is exactly what I wanted. The rice is cooking up. This is what I will be using today. It's the Kikoman Turaki base and glaze. I tasted it. It's going to have to be a little bit sweeter. I think I'm going to put it in a bowl and add sugar until I like the way that tastes. And then I'm going to pour it over. I'm just going to pour it right over the veggies and chicken. Then that will just go right on top of rice. Uh, sometimes you just really got to tweak it. I won't buy this one no more. I really want to find a teriyaki sauce in the bottle. And that's just the truth. I'm not going to be making no teriyaki sauce. Um, oh, I got honey over there. I might add honey. I'm going to see how that goes. All right, you guys. I'll be back. Okay, I just got through. I wanted to show this real quick. I just got through chopping up my pe bell peppers that I had done. And um, I had bought the whole celery, y'all remember. So I got it chopped up in three different bags. So this will be for three different meals. Um, I just wanted to show it real quick. And then I put it into Ziploc bags, put it into the freezer. I always flatten mine out like this. Flatten it out like that before I and then put it on into the freezer. I'll get them in the freezer like that. It takes up less room. And then if they're all down low with each other and um, you take them out the freezer, it's going to be a look, you know, it's just easier to uh, defrost them like this and get them out the bag too. So once they are frozen and you have to take them out and use them. So this is how I like to just store them really more or less just to save on room. And if you, if you'll see them in the, um, in the grocery store, a lot of times they're packed kind of flat, the frozen veggies. All right, so I got my all that, all my prep is done. My chicken was um, was divvied up into three different meals. This is chopped up into three different bags, and then I only had one pepper left after I did the chicken stir fry. All right, you guys. All right, the day must go on. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, you guys. This morning uh, or this afternoon I, for lunch, I made them some cheese grits and some fried hot dogs. It may not look like much, but these kids absolutely love this. It is hard finding things that the kids really, really like, but they do like this right here. So I'm going to let them eat this. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. Yeah, I put some sugar in the grits. All right. Eating your hot dogs and stuff, Duna? All right, you want it? Will you take a bite of the grits? Look at them. Very picky, y'all. So he might not eat the cheese grits, but we working on stuff. He eating those fried hot dogs, and I got about like three more over there. If you eat as many fried hot dogs you want to, and we'll go from there. And I'm making the kids some coffee slash cappuccino. For some reason, you gotta lift that up. Give me that. Give me here. I got it. And you gotta put that under there. And then you're gonna push push eight. No, eight. There it goes, Duna. It's gonna make an eight ounce cup of hot cup, hot water. 
All right, got a little color to it because there is a K-cup in there, but I ran it through about three or four times through this K-cup, so that's no problem. I just, you know, I just wanted to run an eight-ounce cup of hot coffee. What a hot pattern? water is this. Uh, I bought this last year. It's this Hills Brother Cappuccino uh, drink mix, and you're going to do two tablespoons of this and one tablespoon of sugar, and that's them. A good little eight-ounce cup of what they call coffee. Coffee. Do the, let the people see me do the uh, coffee. One. Two. I got things going right there. It's going. It's going in the coffee cup. And one. Look at that. Do little two scoops of sugar. You mix that up. They really think they got them a good cup of coffee. All right, then. You're get it. You gonna drink yours too, Tink? Drink your coffee? Good job, doing good, huh? All right, y'all, finish up your coffee. Tink got a mouthful of food, that's what's wrong with her. Go get ready your food, the Tink. Go get ready your food. Go on, and then you can drink the coffee. All right, you two. I do have some picky eaters, so I'll be doing all I can to try to make sure they get them something to eat in their bellies. I kind of hope they like beans. I think I'm going to try beans in the next week meal plan and see how they like that. Uh, they really do like the chili, and they like the hot dogs fried or boiled in any kind of way. So, uh, I, I why they'll get tired of hot dogs. But I know I didn't want to keep on doing on pizza rolls and, and hot pockets and fries and stuff. But I will keep that on hand, you know, in case they just won't eat anything else. Definitely trying to get them to eat, you know, more and then a little bit better around here. All right, you guys, I am moving around the house today. One thing I wanted to tell you guys was when we went to Chicago, uh, there's a couple of things I'm going to be jumping on here talking about as far as the vacation went. When we went to Chicago, we left here. The gas price here was $3.19, and it's that right now. When we went to Chicago, we were looking at upwards of $4.00 and 99 cents so yes yeah, right at five dollars per gallon in chicago as we speak you know <laughs> as i live and breathe you know between 480 and 490 a gallon very very expensive and we even pushed that into the budget you know it really started kind of knocking on the budget when we went to go pick up the grandchildren and then we were going back and forth to the store and different things like that it just started adding up so when you go on a vacation what that you want to do is always factor in the difference in the gas prices. I won't even think about it. And Boo was like, oh, today it was 40 And then he was like, today was a, another 30 or $40 in the tank. So that's almost $100, like right at 80 bucks. Almost $100, you know. And, you know, we probably thought we would be looking at nothing. But, like, no more than 30 or $40 for two days, you know. So, yeah, that gas up there is something serious. So, Wherever you're going to, make sure you check out the gas prices and factor that into your trip budget. Because because of that, we went ahead and we ate at the house twice. It may not look like it because we ate out a lot. But that was one of our goals was to try a lot of different food places when we went to Chicago. But, um, a lot, you know, it got cut a little short, you know, because we went ahead and just ate at home some. It was a lot cheaper. You know, you're running 80 to $150 for a big family like ours to eat out. But, you know, if you we uh, grab something at home, no more than 20 to $30 for the whole meal. You know, you can't really beat that. So, yeah, that's what we did in order to kind of supplement the funds and make sure we got back to Alabama. All right, you guys. Um, I, that's one thing I just wanted to say about our trip that I noticed that I did not take into account for before we left here. All right, you guys, I'm going to move on with my day. This kid's so loud, I think. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to our channel. This is another day, and I be vlogging different parts of our day that I think might be kind of interesting, maybe something somebody else might want to do or might be interested in. So we did pick up some items from Sam's Club today, and um, it wasn't that many, so that's why I'm going to include them in our vlog. We did. We had got the a big pack of the Mountain Dew Baja Blast. They sell this at Taco Bell. It actually was a collab with Taco Bell. Ooh, it's so heavy. I don't know if I can pick it up again, but okay, yeah, you can see it on that front end. It, it's actually a collab with Taco Bell or whatnot. And when my husband goes to Taco Bell, he always gets it. He really likes it, so he wanted us to get a big thing of these Baja Blast 24 pack at Sam's Club. The 
the um, price will be on the screen as I put these items up. We also had got, we got some quickie stuff. You know, I had got a lot of stuff to make dinners. But you guys should see at least two of my dinners on this vlog. I was going to do another dinner, but today we got the Sam Club haul. So I'm just probably going to throw some of these chicken nuggets or um, the other item in for the uh, children. We got the big bag of chicken nuggets. It say all white meat. Now, it wasn't saying that at first. And that's what I really like is the all white meat chicken nuggets. And this is your big old five pound bag. It's a five pound bag. So that is good for the kiddos. Uh, we also got a big old bag of these fish sticks right here. We love these um, fish sticks and it's always made. These are always made with, it usually say real wild. This is made with wild Alaskan Pollock, but it's real fish. That's what we like about the fish sticks from uh, Gordon's. And this is your three pound bag of fish sticks. We really love those also. We also got, we also got two boxes of the taquitos. Um, yeah, we just absolutely love these taquitos. So that's why he got two boxes of them. Two boxes of taquitos. Okay. Two boxes of taquitos. I want my shirt to go again. And last but not least, like I told you, we didn't get that much. We really should have got some cases of water. But my husband did this haul while I was asleep. So I wasn't even up. He just had picked up some things that he know he wanted to put into the freezer. And we got the sour cream, you know. Got to have your sour cream with your taquitos. They are so good. So I just we just grabbed a few of these. I want to show y'all what we picked up. What we pick up at Sam Club for a quick and easy meal or dinner idea. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're doing good today. Say hi. So, say hi, Ramil. Look, say hi. Say hi. 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 All right, we had did that um, Sam Club haul, and I wanted to talk to you guys about the best vacation anybody could ever have. Because when we went on vacation, normally, sorry, y'all, the microwave went off as I started talking on this little segment right here. Okay, but we went to Chicago, and we went to see our children and our grandchildren, which was all great and dandy. And in the last vlog that came up, you'll probably see that before this um, vlog, um, we had a wonderful time. We really enjoyed the grandchildren, but mainly we were able to just sleep in, like sleep long as we wanted to, relax long as we wanted to, sit out on the deck and relax, chill out, played a few board games. We literally played Connect Four and Uno. I mean, we just haven't done that in a while where we just kind of sat and enjoyed one another. So. It was truly a vacation. What I did, I looked up vacation. I looked up the word vacation. A vacation, um, it talks about having plenty of leisure and recreation time away from the house, not at your own home. So vacation literally do mean just being somewhere else, basically. A lot of time when you go on vacation, you have an itinerary planned out. We're gonna go here, go there. We're gonna, um, we're gonna search here. We're gonna search there. Not search. We're gonna, um, we're gonna. Sorry about that, you guys. So. Um, where you can go and uh, like, like we uh, want to go to a popcorn factory, an ice cream factory, downtown, different stuff like that. And do you guys remember that um, family, um, 21 and counting? I remember when they went to New York and it was all of them. It might've been 18 of them at that time. They had such a hard time maneuvering downtown and getting on and off trains and doing whatever because their family was so big. And I just really thought about that. It just really was kind of scary to me to have, and then home alone, like when they left little Macaulay Culkin, they left him at the airport and stuff like that. It just, I just had horror, you know, thoughts about being downtown with a really big family. But the next time we go, we do plan on going downtown. And I did show them the footage of when we had went into Woodfield Mall. You guys are going to be in the scene, the, um, the vlog or the video before this video. But, you know, even in Woodfield Mall, it is literally the second biggest mall in the country. And I did not know that. So um, maybe next time we can get more footage inside the Woodfield Mall to show you guys how that was. But other than that, two or three of the days we were there, 
we did nothing but relax and truly vacay. So I just want to let you guys know when you go on a vacation, it's all fun and dandy to be doing things, to be um, going places. But you know, some people are not like us. You know, they may not want to just to be away from work. Recreation means doing things you enjoy other than work. Other than work, that's what recreation is. Leisure time is just free time. Leisure time is just free time. I looked up all those words and stuff like that. You know, I just want, I mean, just in my heart, this was one of the most relaxing and laid back vacations we've ever had in a long time. And longer vacations. We stayed on this vacation about five days, 45 days. And we really, really enjoyed. Okay. So I just want to let you guys know uh, when you go on vacation, enjoy it. Doing things you like to do, though. If, if that's jet skiing or whatever, doing stuff you love to do. So God is good. It was just such a wonderful, relaxing vacation. And we truly did enjoy our family. All right. You guys know I'm always trying to organize something. I can always try and get something to be a little more organized around this camp. So I went to Target one day. And, uh, you know, I try my best to stay out of them stores, but when we door dash a lot of times, a lot of times we stop at stores in order to take a bathroom break. And it no normally it'd be like Target or something like that. So while I was in there, we were waiting on the order, and I picked these up. I picked these up. These are three little uh, little um, storage containers, right? Uh, put them down, Duna. You got to get out of here with me while I'm trying to do this. I'm going to get ready, kid. All right. Yeah, they're like this. These are like a dollar and twenty nine cent or a dollar thirty nine cent, something like that. At Target, you know, a little bit more than Dollar Tree prices, but it wasn't so bad because at this out, man, this how long ago I got them because it's almost um, August. It's almost August, like a few days to August now. And uh, when you guys see see this, it might be in August. Y'all see this um, vlog, but I got this during my birthday week, and during my birthday week. They gave me 5% off all, all my purchases in the store. So that was awesome. On the Target app, they did give me 5% off of all the uh, purchases in the store. So I ended up making these like $1.29 or something like that. So that's very, very close to Dollar Tree prices. And I did get three. I got three of these, okay? Okay. So I got these three containers in order to put um, my, my coffee. The kids are keeping up a lot of noise as soon as I get ready to start a video clip. Okay, for my coffee, drink packets, and coffee, drink packets, and hot chocolate, right? And what I did, I went on an app called Fonto. I have Fonto on my phone. Fonto is free. Um, you can start paying for different things on Fonto, but I just use all the free stuff that they let me utilize on Fonto. I use it in order to make my thumbnails for YouTube, but I also used it to make some, um, to make some labels for these three beans right here and i do want to incorporate orange you guys know orange is my accent color i want to incorporate orange. i thought this was orange the um the writing was orange but i think it's like red i might change that but for right now we're gonna go with this with that thick orange um lining around there i'm gonna cut these out and i'm gonna utilize these now one time while i was in the dollar tree so i did i made this on fonto and just printed it right out of my printer me, I'm the type of person, I, if I don't need nothing extra around, it would be great to have those really pretty, nice little labels, stuff like that. And I had located a lot of labels at the Dollar Tree one time. It was 100 in there. I know everybody know about those labels you can find at Dollar Tree, right? Um, it will be like 100 in there. I know I remember seeing hot chocolate. So that probably would help. But they were black and white. They were not going with my uh, color scheme of my... Um, kitchen which is gray right and a gray white and an accent color of orange so um <clears throat> i'm just gonna go with these but that would be a hundred labels of different labels and stuff that i probably wouldn't even use but i might could utilize we'll see i probably can get these like made somebody may make these labels for me and stuff like that but for now i'm just printing them right off my phone for free so let me cut these out Got my handy dandy scissors. I'm gonna cut them out and then I'm gonna show you how I put them on by how I put on putting them on the the containers. So here are my three labels. I am so excited about these labels. I kind of don't like that red, um, that red, you know, in the middle, but I might redo these with the orange, you guys. Okay, here is all of the coffee and drink packet mix. We have you know just quite a bit of drink packets and um 
hot chocolate and stuff. And here go all three of the containers. So let me try to get everything uh, done up. But I'm going to show you first how I'm going to uh, actually get the labels on the container. So this is the look I'm going for on the side. Just kind of have a label, you know. And I got my handy dandy Scotch tape right here. This should be pretty seamless, you know. Once I put it on there, it should be pretty seamless. And I never let it fall back. I would give it that fold. You know, you want to give it that fold right there. Ooh, I can't stand not being able to get my tape up. I want it to be very seamless. So, it's a little dent right here in the... You'll see it when I show you. So, I'm going to try to line them up about... Right in the middle. I want it to be seamless. Well, it's coming out really great, you guys. Okay. And then I'll probably put another line right here and another line right there. But how nice is that? <laughs> you know, nothing really extravagant or nothing like that. But I really love it myself. And I'm going to change it to where I'm going to go back to the same picture. And I'm going to change this coffee to orange. So I'm going to make sure I love this orange. So I will show you guys that in a later vlog. Everybody know how to put a, you know, put a label on there with tape. But I do have, I started out with one piece of tape. Y'all see how I just put it on there. But I did put a, another piece of tape across the top and another piece of tape across the bottom. Tried to make it as seamless as possible. Very neat, nice to the point. And I just print that off my printer and, you know, and just got it done. What I'm trying to say is, you guys, when I am doing different projects around the house, I want it to be meaningful. I want to do it on purpose. Like, I need this container for my coffees. I just really do need it. Okay? So, I'm just going to do that. As I see, I need different things. I figure out what kind of container I want for it. And then I go from there. And anytime you're going to put a, a container in a space, you want to measure, measure, measure. Now, these right here, look at me. That cat calling the kettle black. I think that's how that saying go. Because I did not measure for these. But I pretty I believe that these will go into the cabinet I want them to go into. So now let me just get all the coffee, hot chocolates, and um, drink packets in these different ones. And get them all labeled. And um, yeah, get them into my cabinet. They're going to be in my pepper pantry. Because we do stock up on these three items. you guys so i do have all the hot chocolate the drink packets and the coffees in here i'm gonna be able to get rid of all these boxes different things i'm gonna break them down put them into the trash and it all came down to just three small containers all right dude you might go throw them away for me all right <laughs> it's really really good right here in my pepper pantry look at that oh it's so nice i'm so glad to have that organized all right it's to the point hello youtube and welcome back to our channel this is another day but i am still just vlogging vlogging along um it's certain points of our chicago vacation trip that i did want to uh touch base on like um i was so glad that we was able to relax and have a full-blown vacation and you know just think about your itinerary and what you really want to do when you go on vacation do you really want to relax or is there just different things you really want to do in that city or that place you're going to we really did relax i was so thankful for that um on top of that, um, I think I said something about the gas prices to factor that in to your trip. Because once you get there, you may have to get your rental or whatnot and um, drive around and stuff. And that really did kind of push into the budget. Uh, my daughter told me that it wasn't $4.99 a gallon. She saw something that was like $3.99 to $4.29 a gallon. So I don't think it was that much more higher. It might have been $4.99 instead of $3.99 in Chicago. Here in uh, here in Alabama, it's about uh, $3.99. 10 to 318 per gallon right now um so when we were in chicago that 399 to over four dollar price was a whole lot more than what we were used to paying for gas and it really does add up another thing i wanted to talk about as far as the vacation went was the weather 
always check your weather before you go because you know what? They always do. They'll do the forecast a week ahead of time. It'll just kind of give you an idea of what you're dealing with. Now on the way there, smooth sailing, sunny, beautiful skies. It was just really, really nice all the way to Chicago. But on our way back in Kentucky, right there in the middle of Kentucky, we hit some really a really bad storm. And I believe the bad storm had hit in Atlanta also. And then in Kentucky, we were right in the middle of it while driving. Um, with um, with the drive. Um, I was driving at this time during the weather storm. It was a really, really bad storm. I mean, you're talking about it was daytime and I still could barely see the white lines in the road. It was really coming down. I don't know if any kind of tornadoes or anything hit down or not, but you always want to try to check the weather. Uh, instead of stopping, we never stop. Anytime a storm starts, unless it's really, really bad, unless it's, it's rocking the car kind of like tornado-like, that's the only way we probably would try to find some shelter and stop or something. But other than that, we usually go right on through a real bad rainstorm. And do you know what? After about 45 minutes of driving, I was through the storm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it, 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 the preacher definitely preaches a sermon about you, getting, you, need, you gotta go through the storm in order to get to the sunshine. So you do need to go through instead of stopping. You're gonna stay right there in the storm. You just, you know, like, so when you're going through something, you know, I, I really wasn't trying to make, turn this into an encouragement, but that is also when you're going through something, you want to just go, keep going through the storm. Don't stop. Don't stop mid-pace. Don't stop what you're doing. Just keep going and you'll be through the storm sooner or later and you will be on your sunshine, sunshine side. But all I was saying is that on our way back, we did hit some pretty bad weather. Um, we normally do check the weather, like going up there. So I guess on the way home, on the way going on your road trip and on the way home, you probably do want to definitely check the weather. I did not do that on the way home. On the way going, it was all sunshine. But on the way back, we hit a pretty bad storm. So yeah, that was another thing I just wanted to say about uh, going on these road trips. We normally do one, two, or three per year. But this year, it's just one road trip this year due to funds, period. I might want to tell the truth. Due to our lack of funds and money, we're only doing one road trip this year, as far as I know. I am about to make, um, well, some chicken taco meat, because I got stuff for burritos, tacos, and, um, well, yeah, for burritos or else tacos. And then I'm going to make some chicken taco meat with that Mexican, that old El Paso Mexican rice that I had got on our bottle rebate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that, I'm going to pair that with tacos, just as my husband said. We should eat it with uh tacos so i'm probably gonna put my um, rice into a burrito i don't know but let me go ahead and get my chicken started all right all the chicken is cut up and ready to rock and roll i got that little piece right there i need to cut up i'm gonna throw this into my skillet okay i got chicken cooking up i put two packs two packs of the um taco seasoning in there two packs and then a cup of water two packs of taco seasoning cup of water i'm gonna let it cook down i let it cook down to the chicken was pretty much done but in order for it to be tender i didn't put it down real low and i'm just gonna let it simmer down i'm gonna try to make you know i'm gonna keep an eye on it so to keep some liquid in it but let it cook down real low you know it's just so the chicken will be good and tender so now let me get on to the next part all right um so i am gonna do this mexican rice with it um and this is what they say this uh, is the Mexican cheesy, cheesy Mexican rice. Oh, this is going to be so good with it. So it's telling me that I got to uh, put two, two and a half cups of water. I already got my five cups of water boiling I'm gonna, and a, a tablespoon of butter. Since I got two boxes, I'm going to put two, you know, flops of, uh, you know, two, little, you know, dollops of butter in there and let it boil up. Then I'm going to put it in there. They're saying that I can just stir the rice to season the mix and butter all the way until it get to the consistency you want. Some people like it al dente, the rice. I do, but my, my family like for it to be like cooked a little bit more. And then here goes some, um, this ain't, they say you can also do it in the microwave, but um, I'm doing it on top of the stove. You know, they say, tell my thing. Oh, I'm, cool. That's what I'm finna do is some burritos and quesadillas, soft tacos, hard shell tacos, whatever. We finna hook it up around here. So let me get the Mexican rice done. All right, we are ready. It came out really good. It did. And it smells so good in here, you guys. So that's the cheesy Mexican, um, cheesy Mexican rice. And this is the chicken. I just let it cook down on low. You know how that go. And over here, um, got the uh, Ortego taco sauce, sour cream, hard shell tacos. I had said I was going to do like a little burrito with mine. But since the hard shells are out, y'all know I'm a hard shell. 
the hard shell taco type of girl. I really love hard shell tacos. And then we got some sweet heat peppers right here. They don't come in the, like the diced ones. So I'm going to start just getting my jalapeno diced ones. But you can always just get these and chop them up. The sweet heat ones are really, really good. I'm going to show you some more of those that we got too. These are This is the chopped bell pepper. So I was going to put this in my burrito, but I don't know. I'm going to keep it out just in case I do a burrito later on or in the morning or something. Uh, we got the shredded lettuce. We got plenty of soft shell tacos. So I'm going to go ahead and be building up some of the tacos. Oh, and we do got cheese, but I don't know where it's at. All right, these are my husband's soft shell tacos. He likes soft shell. He got the, the rice, chicken, peppers, cheese, lettuce, and some Ortega, Ortega sauce and sour cream. He's going to probably really enjoy these. All right, and these were here are my hard shell tacos. I really am about to enjoy these tacos right here. And I got the kiddos uh, quesadilla going. I'm going to cut this down in half, see if they eat it. They had not too long ago had like a little McDonald's Happy Meal because they had one out earlier. So but I'm going to give them this and then I, they can have many, many more as they want. Plenty love. Plenty here. All right, you guys, that's our tacos. And with the, the Mexican rice is on everything. Like I got some. I got some in here, some rice and cheese and stuff. And I got some on every taco. All right, you guys. I really want to make some a dessert, but I don't know. Uh, what size is this, baby? What size is this? This is like a really, really big Starbucks size. It's like a... Oh, that's a Trenta. This is a Trenta. Me and my husband, we got a Trenta, the Frozen... The frozen refresher. This is the strawberry acai one frozen refresher. I will pop it up there. And um, right now, Starbucks is running a promo where any cold drink is 50% off every Wednesday. Up until August, I'm going to try to find the uh, promotion site or on, on the site or something and pop it up on the um, on the screen, okay? And um, so me and my husband both got one. But it looks like they only took the 50% off of one of them. So you probably just do, you know, every person could just do one drink at a time. But he did get me him both. Now, granted, I hope this frozen, see, they had to go get it. And it's like 97 degrees, so that's why it's halfway melted. But I can definitely drink this with my tacos. That is awesome. But I did try the lemon passion fruit. And I was so excited about the lemon passion fruit frozen one. But it tasted kind of like water. It was real watered down. I might need to give it another try at another Starbucks. But I did not like the uh, the lemon passion fruit one. Which lemon and passion fruit may not give off too much flavor. So I'm hoping this strawberry frozen one be pretty good, you guys. All right, go check it out. Every Wednesday up until August, sometime in August, okay, you guys? They will give you 50% off your cold drink and i believe it's only one per person but you guys read the fine print you'll check it out all right talk to you guys later i am about to eat well, you know what i want with some lamb chops and what <laughs> now that's done